And now Aristotle, but the bottom to back him early on. A little bit slow to go was Cornelius. And where is that early pace? It is with Optimate, a sprinter early on this season, with uh, moving through on the inside Lermontov, and they really are going strongly here in testing ground. Aristotle runs third, then Ekra with Holding Court and Zensov Street, and Scartine Fox, and then Cornelius. And at the back of the pack is Air Marshal. Uh, they begin the sweeping turn into the home straight, and they're through the first quarter mile. And it's Lermontov that runs the rail, Optimate on the outside going one and two. Aristotle on the outer is third. Ekra bowling along nicely, Blinker today in a sharing third. Red Jacket, Zensov Street. And then we have Scartine Fox and then Cornelius followed by Holding Court. And Air Marshall is at the back of the pack as they come down towards the four furlong marker and pass it now. In the orange and blue on the right, Lermontov taking him along with Optimate. Look at this Ekra, the Blinkered runner, really moving well on the inside. Frank is switched wide on Holding Court to come with a run. Scartine Fox with the green cap is starting to pick up now. They've come past the three furlong marker, and Ekra is just simply running away from a competitive race. Next to the rails, uh, Lermontov keeping on badly. Green cap is Scartine Fox, who now looks back to the boards. Aristotle Zensov Street holding court the outside. Horse with a big white face is Air Marshall, who's trying to quicken and come again. But as they come down towards the final furlong, the drive position on Ekra for Richard Hills. He has the edge here to Lermontov in second. Here comes Aristotle, George Duffield, under full flight down the centre of the pack. Ekra, here comes Aristotle, widest of all, and Aristotle comes to take the prize. Aristotle wins in second place, very tight. Lermontov probably just second, Ekra third. A big, big break there to Air Marshall and Zensov Street. So Mick Kinnan, if he was given the choice, uh, or made the choice, got it wrong. After these, we have Cornelius and Optimate. A flat run by the Fox, Scartine Fox, holding court, supplemented. Well, that was uh, last of all. And so, what an amazing run here for the saddle as well as horse Aristotle, ridden by George Duffield, his 75th winner of the season. But it's getting to be uh, shelling peas for George in Group 1 races. Successful on Alborada last week. Uh, for the boss, wins with Aidan O'Brien here on Aristotle. Just brings up one run, one win to the race. And he's really stuck on very bravely. This Aristotle certainly got plenty of power. Second horse home is Aidan O'Brien, a 1-2 for the Irish camp here with Lermontoff and young Paul Scullin rode that. George Duffield then picks up a spare. What a spare. Another Group 1 win, the Racing Post Trophy. It's a 1-2 for Aidan O'Brien. From the moment the stall, from the moment the stalls opened, you knew this race was going to change complexion late on because they went off real fast in this ground. Ekra been going really well and took it up from Lermontov, responding well to the blinkers. And Group One George, he's stalking them on Aristotle. That late each way plunge from twenties into tens. You still haven't got him winning the race at this stage though. But George Duffield, he may not be a thing of beauty in terms of star, but thank God he knows how to rouse them. Ekra's gone for home and beat not Lermontov, you think, at this stage, but George gets a power-packed run out of Aristotle, close home, gets up, and it's going to be an O'Brien 1-2, he ran three, the second and third string have come first and second, Aristotle, Lermontov, Ekra, and the long gap back to fourth, and there is the great man, he gets better as he gets older. Well, look. A lovely, lovely sight, George absolutely as good as he's ever been if not if not better